see three budget. That's what nobody, nobody wants to talk about it. But you really want to know where your money's going. You really, really want to keep up with it. So I want to share with you some ideas and things to consider on maximizing your budget. So I'm going to pop over to the Google Doc Excel sheet that you should have received when purchasing this program. Now this is all to educate you because a lot of people, they just don't know what things cost. So you really want to think about what is smart money versus dumb money. And I flat out tell our clients, and I think they really appreciate the bluntness. But you know what? Sometimes they still want it, and that's okay. What all engaged couples want to know is, what is this going to cost me, and where do I spend my money? And where do I need to spend my money? So in going through this template, you should really think about where your priorities lie. A lot of things that people do not put in the main budget are a rehearsal dinner, welcome party, morning after brunch, and the honeymoon. A lot of people keep that budget totally separate, but don't forget about it. Now, when you're building your budget, I want you to really think about reviewing the vendor quotes first and then discussing the priorities of where the money needs to be spent priorities versus ideas remember from the previous seed and then to secure the vendors you're going to want to send out deposits or retainers kind of the same thing but retainers are non-refundable here is the excel sheet that was created in google drive so it was not uploaded to Google Drive. We simply went to a new Google Drive document, Excel sheet. So you should have received this template and I would encourage you to use it. And so down here in the bottom, I want you to notice the different tabs and I'm going to explain what they are for. So the first tab is simply the info, which we covered this in the previous seed of just things that you're going to want to think of. This is the budget tab, and I want you to understand that your proposal amounts and the balance amounts are going to change as your RSVPs come in. These are all of the main things that you're going to need to have a wedding. Now, it doesn't have every single itty bitty little thing like a garter, a hanky, a little purse, these are the major things of where your money is going to go in your budget. And I really tried to separate it out to make it easy for people. And just remember, everything in the proposal item here in line C, it doesn't mean that you have to spend that. It simply means that it's giving you a black and white number. There's no gray in adding up these numbers. And then once you start to make a deposit or a retainer to vendors, you will want to go ahead and document that in column D. We do have some clients that put a credit card on file or they do a separate checking account specifically for the wedding. And then I have some people that give us two, three, four, and five credit cards because they want to get points for certain things and for their honeymoon. So consider keeping up with the last four digits of which card you used for your deposits and your payments under payment notes. So as you go down through here, you will notice all the ceremony needs, the main reception needs, and all the personal needs if you're going to have a planner, all of the design stuff. Now, we do planning and logistics as well as design. Want more? Well, you got to visit the link. And it's case sensitive. So type the link exactly the way you see it below. It's bit.ly slash capital D-I-Y, lowercase wedding planning. So bit.ly slash D-I-Y wedding planning. And I'll see you on the other side. Have a great day.